If you are not a highlight person, you don't like highlight, you don't want to know about highlight, we can no longer be friends. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm obsessed with highlight. So you don't need to wear highlight. This is only a video if you do want to learn how to place it um, and how to make it really pop for social media and in real life and not make it look really crazy. So if you want to see how I got this look and how I got this amazing glow, please keep watching. Mwah! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess here and Scarlett will be in the background again. I just wanted to do a quick video today on where to place highlight for beginners. I had a few requests on my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I post different content there as well. And I do some gym workouts. Gym workouts, how funny. I do workouts at home because we're in isolation to try to like, I want to keep my fitness up and I talk about skincare there and everything. So make sure to follow me there. All my handles will be listed below. There are a lot of stages and this video could be like completely long. So I wanted something short, simple. So if you want to know where to place your hideout, la 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 la. That's what I sounded like. So I thought I'd do a quick video on where you can, where to place your highlighter if you really want it to pop and how to make it pop on Instagram because I only learned this like a few months ago and it's not even really a trick. It's just something that you do if you're not going out basically. So <laughs> anyways, if you want to keep watching, no. If you like where this video is going, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section with what video you want to see next. But without further ado, if you want to see where to place your highlighter so people can be like in their windows shook, shook by your highlighters, then please keep watching. <laughs> I like that one, highlighter. I have my favorite highlighters here with me. I've got two high-end, so both of them are the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this one has bronzed, summer, tourmaline, and moonstone, and this... And then I also love, okay. So the sad thing about this one is I'm pretty sure this was only limited edition. I cannot believe I didn't get two. I thought this was like, you know when um, influencers put out a product with makeup um, brands and they do it like limited edition and then it'll go out of stock for a few months, then it'll come back, it will come back. This has not come back. From my knowledge, it hasn't. So this is the Anastasia, oh, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter. This highlighter, Oh my god. <laughs> the reason I love this highlighter so much is because oh, I, okay, the funny thing is I like to use this highlighter like on top of another highlighter. So I'll put, say for example, I'll use the other Anastasia one, I'll put this on top of that. So I don't really use this on its own because I feel like for my skin tone it's a bit too white. But for Instagram it's amazing. And then last but very not least. Who else has like long hair or like hair problems? I feel like I'm molting and like my hair's on everything. It's an issue. Anyway. <laughs> so this is the Masters um, Maybelline, yes, Maybelline highlighter. As you can see, I am obsessed. Like it's almost done. I've hit pan. So I use this not only on my, I have three of these. So I have one for me and then two for my clients. I use this on my brides, on my models. I use this like for everyone. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing highlighter. They also have a lighter shade and this that's for more paler skin. So this kind of works for, I guess like, I would say if you're a bit tan, like if you're a bit olive, like yellowy olive, olive I was gonna say olive. What is with me? Pinky, yellowy, olive, um, this would look amazing on you. If you're more cool toned, definitely stick with the other shade. Um, the other shade's in my kit and I really cannot be bothered getting up and getting it. But it is literally, there's only two colors, I'm pretty sure. You can get this from Priceline. Um, you know, I think you can get this from Woolies, I'm not sure. 
So I am going to place a chart here quickly to show you different face shapes, okay? So I am just basing this off my face shape, but I do want to tell you a little trick as well. So this chart hopefully will show you where to apply your contour, blush, and highlighter for each different face shape. Um, I'm sorry guys, I just realized I didn't blend my chin. Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a streeper. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of different face shapes and where you should be applying your contour and highlight. If you want a more in-depth video, I will do that for you guys. Um, leave me a comment in the section below. I just want this to mainly be about highlighter. So powders, again, is so important. So for example, if you want your highlight to pop, you have to be careful where you place your powder. So for example, I use the Charlotte Tilbury powder and I just place that there. Right there, I place a bit on my nose, just there, because I want to accentuate my highlight. I want my highlight to be popping from here to like out of space. I want people to be like, what is that thing? And I'm like, it's just me. <laughs> it's my highlight. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got that down, let me tell you my little trick. So, the easiest way I find that to find anyone's highlight position, because I feel like everyone has their own highlight position, is I just grab the head very lightly. I'm not gonna like hurt you or anything, don't worry, I promise. <laughs> I just grab you and you just wanna like, you don't wanna do that. You wanna just tinge to the light. Like if you want, grab, hold on. Grab your torch, my phone light, and if I place that just there, I can see my highlight position is here. Right there and there. My nose, the bridge of my chin. Like I do this before I put on make, like before I do anyone's makeup, I kind of, cause everyone has a natural glow, everyone. Even if you're so dry, you have a natural glow. The only reason I love this is because it's so universal. Like, you can use this if you want a really glowy look. You can use that as your bronzer and then use a bit of that. I love this shade so much. So that is... What shade is that? This is the Moonstone color. So the reason I love this and the palette is, first of all, they come out. So you can put that in your own palette. Um, and secondly, it's because it's such a pinky shade. So when you apply that before your highlighter, you're kind of making a transition. So you always want to make a transition with everything you do. I don't just apply bronzer, one shade and leave it. You want to make it buildable just like you do with um, eyeshadow, right? So with my consi- Wow. <laughs> with my highlighter, so I like to go in with Moonstone first. This is completely optional, you don't even have to do this. And then I just find where I place my blush. So I placed my blush around here. Okay, so I'm gonna place Moonstone right there. Just like that. So now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Masters um, highlighter. And I'm using this little dense brush. I personally like little brushes. And now I'm going to start placing my highlight a bit more strategically. So I love, I don't think you understand how much I love, putting highlight right there. Because it just like, look how different my eye looks like. I feel like it just draws you more to it. And then I just start placing that. The same section, but I'm just placing it a little bit higher than where I put Moonstone. And I just put a little bit up on the tail of my, my brow. And then I put a little bit on my nose, the tip of my nose. I love the tip of my nose because I feel like wherever you want, wherever the light catches, like I always think of it like this. Whenever I take a photo, where do I want the most light to be? Where do I want the pop to be? Obviously in good places. If you have large pores, if 
you have large pores in this section, don't put highlighter there. Stop it there. You don't need to bring it down because that will just accentuate your pores. They will just look larger. So for my brow, I personally like to put just a little bit there. The little bit, not too much. And then in the middle, just at the top. And then I like to just obviously blend everything in. Now, a lot of people like to put it on their brow bone. I personally don't really like to. I feel like it just doesn't look that appealing. Unless I'm doing like a really dramatic look, then I will. But what I do love doing, so I get a little brush and I just put that at the beginning of my eye. So that's the easiest way I find to do highlighter if you want it to be a bit more extra. Now, if you really want your highlight to pop and to stand out on Instagram, like any social medias or even in real life, Get a setting spray. I personally rather spray my face. I find when I spray the products, like sometimes they get wrecked and I'm not about to waste product. Okay. So then I just dot it exactly where I placed it and that is just gonna give me extra shine. Do you just see? how more vibrant that is oh my gosh okay and my last easy really easy tip that i thought i'd have to mention because honestly i didn't really know this so i feel like i need to mention it to you um so for instagram you know how you see there's people that have their highlight is like so popping that you feel like you're blinded through the screen okay it's because they just go over it like 400 times let me show you what I mean. So this is with just the, um, sorry, Scarlett is like distracting the schnitz out of me. So you see this amazing glow. So I'm going to get my brush. I'm still using the masters and I'm just going to go back in with it. I'm going to do this two more times. So do you see like how blinding that is? Now also I have I really strongly believe that this highlighter is incredible because, I mean, just look at it. It really just, like, pops. I mean, how much more could you pop, right? But you can. Grab a brush, hold it at the end of your nose to your eyebrow, roll it, like, once, maybe, tw actually twice, let's say twice, from your ed the edge of your eyebrow I like to start and then I like to finish it like quite like at the half of my eye because you don't want to bring it too far in as well because then it kind of drags your face in and you don't really want that you want your face to be like you want to be a disco ball but you want to be a proportion disco ball you know you like disco ball I said disco don't bring it in too far out and make sure you don't bring it too low and not too high because you don't want it to be in your conceal line and you don't want it to accentuate any fine lines if you do have any wrinkles there or fine lines, don't put it there. Just put it wherever there is smooth skin because that's what you really want to pop, okay? I hope this video has helped you. I really wanted to bring out Scarlett. Guess who I have? Scarlett! Love you. I love you. Love you. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I just really wanted to bring her out, but she's not sitting the right way. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any other special requests for a new video, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll make sure to leave I'll make sure to get back to you. I have no idea why she's tripping out. What? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Say bye, Scarlett. She's camera shy. Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Lola. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.